our Father, we do thank you today for bringing Shannon through the many terrible things that she had to do and saw there in Iraq and for your care for her. We bless you. When I returned from Iraq, I didn't really know what to say. I couldn't actually believe that I was home with my parents again because the combat that we've seen, I really didn't know if I'd ever see anyone again. Women aren't allowed in combat still to this day, even though in Iraq right now there's females every day in a combat situation. But they couldn't search the females because it's against the Iraqi customs from strange males to touch women. So pretty soon, about once a week, we are going out on missions. You gonna go run then, huh? There's very gray lines because there's no front lines on what women are doing over in Iraq. Hey, that's just so good. And a lot of people are concerned about women overstepping or going outside of their um, legal positions on what they can be doing and what roles they're supposed to be fulfilling in the Army. I still can't believe that I was in a firefight, that me, a female signal officer, someone expected to support from a desk was out there. Strangely, the only reason I was out there was because I was female. Even as a support officer, I was pulled in. I hope I don't have to do them very often, but I will never try to get out of it. I didn't foresee the the circumstances to set itself up such that uh, um, we would utilize the female soldiers in the role we did. But we knew culturally male soldiers could not search women with our hands. You do your mission based on the equipment you have, your organization, the soldiers you have. It's not like, okay, we just got attacked. I want all the female soldiers to go sit in the ditch. They're not special. They're soldiers. And they're expected by their leaders to perform as soldiers. I was going from being a track mechanic to being a female combatant. First time I got shot at was a serious reality check. That time I had rounds hitting about six inches above my head. All of a sudden I looked and everybody was gone. I was the only one in the street. There's insurgents all around me firing at me. RPGs thrown at us and a couple grenades chucked at us. <laughs> Bullets everywhere. There was a tow missile on top of the Humvee and I asked the soldier, well how the heck do I fire that thing if one of you gets hurt? I felt we needed to know more. There is a big disconnect right now between what the policy says women can do and what women are doing. They're having to violate the current policy in order to do their jobs. You want the women who have to engage in these missions to have the full scope of training and preparedness that the men they're working with have. 